Good afternoon, Paul Manders. Recently, there has been a huge number of people interested in the stock market, with many being teens and young adults. However, with the influence of social media, many of the new investors are blindly investing in stocks suggested by famous influencers, often leaving them with a bad start. First, let's start with the basics. A stock is a small fraction of a company that can be bought, sold, and traded within the public. These stocks either grow or lose value depending on the current state of the company. I've met up with Jaden and Paul of National Bank Financial to discuss their perspectives on new investors and how they can improve. How long have you been a professional investor? I've been a professional investor for about uh, 19 years now. I've been a professional investor coming up on 25 years. How long have you been in the stock market? I've been investing since about 14 years old. My father was an active investor and he got me started early in the stock market. I first invested in the stock market in first year university when I got some student loan money and didn't need it for my expenses because I had had some part-time jobs. So I invested it with my cousin who was a new uh, investment advisor and um, quickly made some money and thought it was very smart. Do you think it's good that the younger generation is beginning interest in the stock market? I think it's very important that the younger generation is taking interest in the market. I think it's great for the market. Um, it also, it's never too early to start saving and investing, and uh, I think that's what young investors are starting to do. What mistakes are these new traders making? You know, there's there's been a lot of successes with the new traders as well as maybe some mistakes, but I think the main thing I've noticed is that younger investors are easily influenced by what's happening in the chat rooms and all the recommendations that are found in those spaces, and usually by the time all of these uh, chat rooms um, have spoken about the stock, it's moved up in price, Younger investors are getting in probably at a wrong time. They're left holding the bag in that uh, typically the stock goes down and those chat room people have moved on to other stocks and uh, sometimes young investors are, are left um, with a loss in that position. What's your opinion on short-term trading? Well, short-term trading, I think there's a lot of luck involved in becoming a successful short-term trader. I think the odds are kind of stacked against you um, if you do sell, buy and sell stocks. Um, more in the short term. I think if you're invested uh, over the long term, the odds are in your favor to uh, have a favorable outcome. What's your biggest mistake as an investor? I think the biggest mistakes I've made is to not cut my losses in an investment sooner rather than later. There's a saying in the business that your first loss is always your best loss, meaning that usually if a company um, gets into some trouble and some big trouble, usually selling it right away uh, mitigates the losses because things can sometimes get worse for the company which increases your loss uh, in the end when you really do decide to sell. Usually you can sell when it's too late. I guess my biggest mistake would be I didn't start earlier with more money invested because the real secret is having lots of money invested for a long period of time. What is your advice for new investors? For new investors I would say control what you can control and I think that means saving, saving early, saving often because you'd be surprised at the effects that compound, compounding can have over time if you start to save early. Uh, we can't control the markets, sure we can invest in the markets but saving and investing um, over time in the markets does pay off in the end. I think too many of the new investors think the markets are a get rich quickly scenario and my advice and my experience leads me to believe that getting rich slowly is much better um, and to be honest it's easier and it's just less stressful. In conclusion, new investors often get distracted by social media getting influenced by unreliable sources. For the best starting results, professionals advise your investing journey should be slow and through a reliable source. 
learning valuable information, and doing your own research before spending your money. And remember, it's never too early to save.